I do want to keep digging on some of the updates and news on software, so I'm just straight up going to ask, when is FSR 3 coming out? <laughs> you guys want an update on FSR 3? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think it's uh, the most uh, replied comments I've been getting on social media is, where the heck is FSR 3? <laughs> so we've got a great update for you today on FSR 3. So first of all, what FSR 3 is, in case you're not sure, is it's obviously the follow-on to FSR 2, our upscaler and our uh, performance enhancer that integrates into games. But FSR 3 adds our fluid motion frames technology. And what that does is it literally generates frames for you in your game, which can double and in some cases triple your frame rate. And when you pair it with Anti-Lag Plus, it significantly reduces your latency as well. It's pretty incredible what the team has been able to accomplish with FSR 3. So a couple other things you should know. It's still going to be open. It's going to work on Radeon 7000 series cards, Radeon 6000 series cards, and even older cards. How's that? Hell yeah. Doubling and tripling your frame rate on any card that can run it, basically. OK, but we didn't stop there. It's fidelity effect super resolution. And AMD cares about all gamers. So we enabled FSR 3 not just to work on Radeon graphics cards, to work on any graphics card. And our engineers didn't stop there. It doesn't just work on any PC graphics card. It even works on consoles like the Microsoft Xbox. Everybody should get the benefit of frame generation of fluid motion frames. It shouldn't be reserved just for the small select few of people that can buy the latest generation graphics card. That's not right for gamers. That sounds amazing. So when can we get our hands on FSR 3? Oh, I forgot to say that. Uh -huh. right. Who wants to know when you're going to get your hands on FSR 3? <laughs> yeah. So first of all, let me show you FSR 3 in action. OK, so the first thing I want to show you is FSR 3 in Forspoken. This is their brand new DLC. OK, and it's running here. You can see the kind of performance improvement that we're delivering with FSR 3 nearly triple the performance improvement when you turn this feature on. And any of you guys checked out Immortals of Avium? Just came out. We've got FSR 3 integrated into Immortals of Avium as well. And you can expect both Forspoken and Immortals of Avium patches coming out early fall. Just a few more weeks ahead, you're going to see these uh, patches come out. And you'll be able to take advantage of these massive frame rate gains. But we didn't stop there. You probably want it in more than just two games, right? I've been, I've been looking at the new Cyberpunk expansion, Phantom Liberty, and... You want FSR 3 in it? Absolutely. Okay. Space Marine you got as well? It. FSR 3 for you. You got it. Hell yeah. <laughs> Let's go. So we've already, got, we've already got a bunch of games coming out with committed support for FSR 3. So just check the screen behind me. Over 12 games have already committed to integrating FSR 3 in it. And beyond these 12 games, we've got a bunch of game developers as well, including Unreal Engine is going to put a plug-in in Unreal Engine for FSR 3. And once you do that, you're going to get an absolute ton of games that are going to be integrating FSR 3. So expect FSR 3 support to grow very rapidly from here, just like FSR 1 and FSR 2 did. That sounds absolutely fantastic. I think we're already through all the software stuff, right? Oh, uh, almost. Almost? I got one surprise. Oh, you got more? Oh, yeah, I got one surprise for everybody, yeah. So FSR 3 is pretty cool, obviously, right? But so we're going to put it in 10, 15, 20, 50 games. You know, our competitor has their frame generation in like 50 games or so. Wouldn't you like fluid motion frames in thousands of games? How about every DirectX 11 and DirectX 12 game you play, we can double and triple your frame rate. Wouldn't you like that? Yeah, we would too. So we asked our engineers if they can figure out a magical way of doing that, because nobody's been able to do it. 
Every frame generation technology right now requires integration into the game, and that limits how many games you can launch out there with frame generation. But the engineers at AMD are pretty special, and they figured out a way to put fluid motion frames into HyperRx. And that means pretty much any DirectX 11 and DirectX 12 game running the AMD Adrenaline HyperRx software is going to get the benefits of fluid motion frames, frame interpolation, and generation. Awesome. So it's already working. We've got it working in our labs. It looks absolutely incredible. It's going to be launching to the public by Q1, so just a few more months ahead. By Q1, we'll be introducing that in the Adrenaline Driver with HyperRx. And stay tuned to AMD News to learn more about it. All right, guys? That's going to be unbelievable. There's no other solution out there like it. You're going to get massive frame rate improvements with fluid motion frames. Fantastic.